Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a vlog from our trip to Brazil and I know you guys have been wanting to see what we got up to there and how was the trip. I had all the intentions of doing like a proper vlog, holding up the camera and all of that but we were just so busy there that I just didn't get the chance to stop and film and to be completely honest I'm a very shy person when it comes to vlogging in public so it wasn't like I felt comfortable in any case vlogging in front of other people um, so I just thought instead I'll sit here and I'll have a nice chat and I'll go over everything that happened, all the big events and I'll insert clips and pictures and it will be like a proper vlog but it will have me as a narrator of our trip and I hope you guys like this. If you're new here to my channel my name is Aziz and I have two toddlers, James who is about to turn three and Isabella who is one and we are a Brazilian British family. I was born and raised in Brazil, my husband was born and raised in Wales and we live in the UK with our children. We went to Brazil to visit family, it was also my sister's wedding so we were traveling for that and Isabella's first birthday party so it was quite a lot of things to do so we went there for three and a half weeks and it was amazing it was such an amazing experience so let's get started the first thing I want to talk about is the traveling and I've done an entire video talking about traveling with two toddlers on a long haul flight and I'll leave that video linked below if you're interested so I won't go into detail of everything that happened but we had to get from Wales to Heathrow Airport and we looked at all the options when we ended up choosing to drive ourselves and park our car in the airport. We left Wales at midday and took, took us about two and a half to three hours to get to Heathrow Airport and then we checked in and we had about four hours to wait in the airport. But because we were flying first class, we had access to the VIP lounge, which was great because we got there nice and early and we had plenty of time there to enjoy, to chill out, um, get the kids ready for flying, give them some food, let them run around. Then came time to board the plane. We got the kids dressed in their pajamas to make things easy for flying. And they were pretty great on the flight. The flight was just great. We got to the airport in Sao Paulo and it was about 6 o'clock in the morning. UK time, it was 3 hours ahead, so it was 9 a.m. had about four to five hours wait until our next flight and so we were kind of killing time doing you know lots of activities with them they had so much energy but they were brilliant And then we got on to our connecting flight our domestic flight to my hometown which is called Aracaju and it's in the northeast of Brazil. So we went from the southeast, Sao Paulo, to the northeast, and that flight is about three hours long, and that was a tough one because it was like they didn't want to be back in a confined space and it was a daytime flight so they had all the energy and they couldn't go anywhere so it was a little bit trickier we had a few tantrums and tears but we survived we got to the destination and it was so hot we left the uk at minus something degrees snowing a few days before and we got to aracaju and it was 32 degrees or 33 degrees it was boiling hot
we were staying in my mom's apartment and she actually kindly gave us her room and she was staying in the guest room because her room is bigger. It was the first time, I think the, only the second time that we had all slept in the same room and so I was a bit apprehensive and then the next morning we woke up and it was all amazing, it was all nice and warm. James was just like a little star. He was so friendly. He was making everybody laugh and wanted to play and be with everyone. Isabella wasn't too um, outgoing. She was a little bit more just quiet, wanted to be with me or with Matthew. So on the first day, obviously the kids wanted to go in the swimming pool and my mum lives in an apartment building. There's a swimming pool downstairs, so it was nice and easy access. Here we go. kids absolutely loved it. We just plastered them with sun cream and had their little swimsuits that had UV protection and the little hats and all of that. detail the first day because a lot of the other days will be similar but the first day is like the new thing and it's all the new things that they were doing. came to see us which was amazing because she's 90 this year and obviously her being quite old we don't know how much longer she has so it was just great to be able to see her again and for her to meet um, our children and it was just really special to be able to have her there um, what else I have a list because it's four weeks worth of things so this is week one I'm still like on day one I think Then halfway through the week, my sister and her fiance arrived in Aracaju because they don't live there. They live in another city called Fortaleza, which is also in the northeast of Brazil. 
and so they arrived and it was amazing for her to play with the kids because she absolutely loves children she is a pediatrician and ever since she was a child she's always wanted to do something with children we went to the beach house my mum has a beach house nearby and it was great to go there it's a place that i have lots of fond memories from my childhood <laughs> On the Saturday in the first week was the big day, my sister's wedding. It was just an incredible day. Uh, my sister didn't want anything too fancy, so she actually got married downstairs in my mum's apartment. They have like an events area and it was just so beautifully decorated. It was like walking into a Pinterest place. It was just so beautiful. Castle. I'm pretty sure you're safe, but still afraid. Walking in your garden Knowing what you're dreaming of James was the ring bearer and I had to walk down the little aisle with James and Isabella Of everyone you've ever loved Lower down the bridge and let me in Woo. You'll never get to know me ceremony then we went inside to have lunch and I think at that point it just became a little bit too overwhelming for the kids because there were just so many people there and everybody wanted to see them and say hello they just became a little bit fractious so it was great that we were in my mum's apartment because I was able to go upstairs just give them a five minute break freshen up change their clothes into something a bit cooler and then go back downstairs and interact again with the family and then go back upstairs it was just nice to have that flexibility but it was a great day and it was nice to see them tying the knot and to be there for that was just so special <laughs> So that was week one. The main events of week two were Isabella's baptism, um, first birthday party there, and a second wedding ceremony for my sister. The first thing that happened was the baptism. My family is very Catholic over there. It's very important for my mum, for my grandmother. And so even though I don't really practice Catholicism, I am a Christian. Later on that day was Isabella's first birthday party. So we actually went for a pink vintage circus theme. Oh my God, it was like a dream come true. It was the most beautiful party ever. It, everything just looked stunning and it was all handmade. It was 
like um, an entertainment team outside with the kids and a ball pit and a bouncy castle and slides and things and it was nice to have all the family there she got so many presents which was amazing and very generous of everybody to bring a present And the next day, the very next day after her birthday party, we were flying south for the second wedding. And my sister's husband is from a city called Florianópolis, which is in the south of Brazil. Balancing on a weary line Too scared to trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own 29 years I've been the same Trying so hard to run from shame we were staying in an Airbnb house that we rented for a few days and the house was beautiful. It was my first time in Florianópolis as well and it was great to go and visit a new place in Brazil. It's such a beautiful place, definitely worth going. week was the second wedding and it was more of an evening wedding that one so it was a bit trickier for us to keep the kids awake um, but we managed and they kind of stayed awake for a few hours before they were ready for bed and it was just another beautiful ceremony it was so so lovely and it, they did an amazing job like two weddings in two weeks can't be easy to plan and budget for um, so yeah it was amazing to go to the second wedding down south
to Aracaju and another flight back and the kids were just like I don't want to be on a plane anymore <laughs> we were getting to the end of our tether with flying and luckily that was the last flight before going back to the UK so we arrived back in Aracaju and that leads us into week three yeah week three and the very next day we drove to um, a beach resort which is called the Grand Palladium in Basai. Wow. That's located in the state of Bahia, which is the very next state to where I'm from, and it was amazing. I kind of dare to say that that was the best part of our trip. a little piece of paradise kids loved it we loved as well for us it was nice to have a chilled break because up to now we'd had such a busy couple of weeks with so many events Oh, another thing that happened that I forgot to mention it is that Isabella completely changed from week one to week two. She was like a different child and she was loving life, loving being with other people and smiling and she changed from like being a child that would take it all in but just keep it to herself and no one could really make her smile properly to being like so outspoken and her vocabulary came on really well. Everybody could make her laugh. It was like a completely different child and it was so nice to see her coming out of her shell and just being a bit more outgoing. My mum was so kind because every night that we were there, she stayed in with the kids whilst they were in bed and Matthew and I got to go out in the evening, which is not something that we get to do here very often. And we had like three nights in a row going out in the evening and um, they had evening entertainment they had shows that we could watch and we had drinks we had a horrible hangover but I, we didn't mind because we were just having so much fun <laughs> with a hangover was interesting but <laughs> we got through it so we had loads of fun and like really thankful for my mum for being so kind and staying with the kids every night so we could go out it was just amazing and on the fourth day we drove back to Aracaju and we only had a few days then left um, until we had to go back home and it just felt like it Blue. As soon as we got back it was Easter and we went to the beach house to celebrate Easter with my family and my grandma and it was nice again to be around grandma. She's a bit frail now so she's not really as active as she'd like to be with the grandchildren. Um, great grandchildren actually because I'm the grandchild um, but it was just still lovely to see her and to be there. I'm like so attached to my grandma. Um, growing up we like were at her house all the time. So then we are on to week four
thought I was losing who I call myself today in this world of illusions didn't dare to sing my name that was when you came along and I We got ready to travel back. We said goodbye to the house, to the family, to the sunshine and arrived back in the UK. So that is the summary of our holiday and it was actually really nice for me to talk about the holiday and like reflect upon things that had happened rather than just talk in the moment and it brings back all the good memories which is amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below telling me if you enjoyed this format and if you'd like to see more vlogs of our family in this kind of narrating format. If you're new to my channel I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Subscribing is free, it just means that you get notified when there's a new video from me. If you made it this far then let me know by leaving a comment below telling me which city in the world you are from. I'd be very interested to know where you guys are from. So yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!